Hi everybody, here's Christian from Team Workcast. And I'm Konstantin Kjelfsil Christakis. Uh, I'm responsible for Netrunner.nl from the That's Netrunner community. And this is Netrunner with Team Orcast. This is Eindhoven Game 4 Star Championship on the 14th of March. Final round, final game. I'm on the left, I'm playing NEH. Yeah. Yeah, oh my and god. The, uh, yeah, I'm, uh, <laughs> sometimes I want to win. Sometimes I want to like to win tournaments. Okay, fair enough, fair and, enough. <laughs> and Falk also wants to win. He plays uh, the Quetzal. Uh, the Bretzel. And uh, he will be able to break a various subroutine once each turn and I will be able to get a card every once when I install a remote server and open up new remote server. And we gotta like say that Falco was a bit drunk up to this point, at this yes. point in Falco the tournament. Is, Falco <laughs> is right now super drunk, although I mean the round, it's the second game from the round so he hasn't drunk a beer since a half an hour at least. So maybe his blood alcohol is sinking down, so I don't know, I don't know man. Install, draw card. Sweep, sweep. Oh, yeah, I bet you wish it was Andromeda right now. That would be great, yeah. <laughs> but Andromeda fell out of favor recently. I haven't seen Andromeda since a long time now. Yeah. And install in front of HQ. And Falco Shore Gambles. Ooh. And running on R&D. Runs R&D. Yeah. DLR, nice. Preparing again. Uh, yeah, that's the data leak reversal. He installing the data leak re reversal now. So this is bad. We saw the data leak reversal being used previously in games against Falco, and this is really, really painful. Uh, when Falco gets tagged, he can use a click to make me trash a card from the top of R&D. Um, of course, he's not tagged now, so this is not in danger yet, but it will be eventually. Yeah, it's just preparation. Icing up the R&D. Just preparation in case he gets tagged or in case he accounts siphon so that you can use yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. One fucking R&D. Oh, oh my man. god. And fire could a man behind the finger <laughs> running on R&D. There's a wrap around so he can break it, but he can only run once there. All right, so that's a... <laughs> <laughs> and I'm of course raising the uh, daily business show and he doesn't trash it and instead he installs uh, the Joshua B now the Joshua B will do will get him attack at the oh end my of God. his turn next turn so this is going to be a problem now this is how he will get his tags in and I'm uh, I'm using daily business show, but of course Falco was peeking, and he knows exactly what kind of uh, card there was, and he also uh, realizes that I put the card in the wrong place. Anyway, uh, Falco is just being an asshole, <laughs> the regular Falco stuff. So daily business show. Yep. Amazing card. One. Amazing card. <laughs> it's a it's a Mr. Lee for the corporation. You can look at the top two cards and decide which card you draw. Uh, and the other one card gets down on the bottom of R&D, but with uh, four corporations, that's tremendous because you can, you know, decide on how many agendas you want to have on your hand, or you can draw into agendas if you want them. Right now, it's really useful. And even better, it costs four to trust. That's like so much for the runner. Uh, yeah, and especially against any age where you have to, the runner has to spend all the credits to trash the sand sense. He not, they have to now have another thing they have to trash. Running on uh, HQ. Right, okay, so we have two barriers in front of HQ and R&D. Not very good defense against Questel because Questel can break both. Yeah, uh, just crazy. Uh, that's not good. I, I guess I don't have any better eyes and he trashes the daily business show. Oh, he does trash it. Well, that's a good move, I think. And now Falco gets the tag. He used Joshua B to get the tag and then I'm using a hedge fund and I'm trashing the daily business show. You... I know, the, 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 the DLR. The DLR. I'm thinking about trashing the, the Joshua, but I'm deciding not to do it. Maybe a mistake. I don't know. He does get an extra click, which could be used to draw another DLR. <laughs> <laughs> On the other hand, I'm down to uh, I'm down to just four uh, to ten credits or something like this, around ten credits. So uh, I, I want to do things with those ten credits, you know. I love how you say like I'm down to only ten credits, man. I'm like so poor. <laughs> I, 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 I'm, 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 oh, oh man, no. he sees. Oh, oh no, no. he's got a no. DLR again. Uh, and DLR, second DLR out. Ugh. <laughs> oh man. 
Yeah, yeah you, you're you're like yeah. asking where did you get the fifth click? <laughs> yeah, and of course this is Joshua yeah. B. Uh, uh, this is the Hick fucker can do so much right now. <sighs> Ooh, protecting. I think are yeah, you, you will trust a DLR, right? You will. Yeah, of course, have to. Oh, okay. You have to trash the DLR. He trashed so much stuff already, and he scored uh, one ISO script that I really don't want him to tr to score. That's the one agenda I really don't want him to trash. You're letting him keep Tosha. Oh man. Uh, watch this. Ooh. Quandary. Quandary <laughs> is a good one. Running on archives. He wants to see the agendas. There's no agendas. Oh, he <laughs> Take that, Falco. What the? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, can he install this? Yeah, he can because he run on archives. It's a central server. Oh, yeah, it has to be any central server. Oh, oh man. man. You run Aaron Boy, by the way. Interesting. Yeah, how was that how was that worked out for you? It's really great. It's uh, like a huge pop-up window. Not quite as a pop-up window because you have to install a lot of credits to reset, yeah. but uh, it's super taxing. It's like a super taxing pop-up window. And the, the ability to draw cards is really great in front of HQ because you can defend yourself against the legwork. True, true. Uh, any agendas there? Are you gonna? Do oh, you're Jacksoning. Jackson nice. <laughs> Saving the day. Jackson saves the day. He wants to run on uh, archives to to see all the agenda that he trashed, but uh, Jackson uh, saves as always. Biotic. And oh, you he, terrible person, uh, Christian. Yeah. Oh my yeah, God. That's a, uh, it's, it's, it's the cheesiest. <laughs> it's a che super cheesy. I mean, it's it's yellow orange cheese. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I, I love the orange sleeves, by the way. <laughs> uh, uh, it's, it's the cheesiest deck of them all. Oh man. Um, Falco has two tags. And he gets the same old thing. Uh oh, this is going to be ugly. Like, Falco d doesn't even have to even like run that much to pressure you at the moment. He's just like making you waste credits all the time. No, yeah, but there's a there's a Sansan. -san. Oh. In style, shape from Sansan. -san. Bam! I have my SO script you, on my own. You play like even similar from Sansan. -san. Oh man. Oh, yeah, that's a, that's the way it goes. So I have one credit. I don't even. I'm not even scared of a of a uh, account siphon right now. If Falco doesn't have the money to trash the Sansan. Oh, okay, <laughs> okay, that works too. Oh, he's not gonna click for credits and trust the Sansan. Nope. Oh, just crazy. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> Falco doing work right there. Oh, with just, the just with, with Crescent's ability, he gets through. He sees in the card. He's, it's an agenda, of course. I install, <laughs> get credits. I, I consolidate my, my servers. But you no, know, I'm, I'm, I'm on a safe side. I scored one Astro script. That's fine. Yeah, that's, that's enough for the Astro train, I guess. And Falco spends f all except one of his credits to just to quality time. He's still not trusting the Sansan? What? Nope, he doesn't have the money. He had the money. That, that, that's what I was wondering about. I like, keep No, he, he, yeah, he had. Almost had. He could have. Oh, uh, there we go. There's. Fasting with so many tags. Falco, what? Oh, uh, uh, yeah, that's a ballsy move. Probably could have, would have been a good idea to trash it right now, look, right? Look at how drunk he is. He's putting credits on the same old thing. <laughs> And I score another BL. I'm too busy scoring nice. agendas to trash the, that Amitash code busting. Is he is he gonna click that same old thing? <laughs> oh, Hopefully. Falco. Oh, Falco. Like, we were having a discussion right outside the store, and some guy, like, recognized him. He's like, oh, you're the first guy that burned me, Netrunner. <laughs> <laughs> Ever. Now he realizes he moves it over. Uh, too bad. Oh, man. Too bad. I would have lo loved him to, to pop a... Oh, the Dirty Laundry on R&D, yeah, Falco's recovering financially so quickly, it's amazing. And then running on archives, Another not trusting anything there. And there's an architect. Mm, don't have any money yet right now, but I have scored four agendas and I have still an uh, Astro Script open Yeah, that's hand. more than enough and to win. there's still a Sans Unrest, with just two credits. I oh, oh, now he runs yeah. and trashes. Too late, Falco, too late. Too late, it's already gotten me two agendas. Oh man, what, what you just need like credits now or sipping from Sansen. Yeah. Are you gonna click for credits? Oh, they yeah, have that NBA comeback. Yep, that works. <laughs> that works. Uh, the the sweep week really helps right now, and installing a card, drawing a card. I think Falco Diesels. I think he's looking for his account siphon because your HQ is quite yeah. open at the moment. Yeah, he does. Yeah, and he drew, he drew a, a account yeah. siphon. 
Yeah, so they, I, we don't know what was going to happen now. I saw a knife as well, I think. And that's the sand sand. He has to trust it. I oh, can't trust the sand sand. I cannot rescue the credits. Oh, so, man. Uh, that's, that's unfortunate right now. He was lucky. If you only have one more credit. Yeah, that would have made so much difference. Not that, that I, I would be kind of person who would remember that. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't matter, just but for the sake of like amazing yeah, plays there. Yeah, let's let's give you a benefit of a doubt. Yeah. <laughs> so what's yeah, next? So he has like twenty credits at the moment. Either data sucker. Either yeah. data sucker. Bam. He's he's gonna start the knife spoon rounds. <laughs> I'm getting three credits. Uh, it's not looking good. Of course, he can uh, same old thing. The account siphon at any given point. Yep, and he can actually just. Yeah, this is not yeah, looking good for you. This is really not the, looking good for you. He's he's putting on the pressure. On the other hand, I have an uh, Escusub token still. There you go. And he <laughs> knives <laughs> the the Eli. So, as, is he going to like lock HQ now or? Same thing. Can't siphon. Yeah. Another one, just to. Get rid of the two, three credits I had. Yeah, because he, even if he locks like HQ, if you draw the agenda, then you can just score it out with Astro if you have like just two credits. So, yeah, that's true. He really. But on the other end, I have um, a shipment from Sansan, Sand, so I don't need credits to score an agenda. So you draw a toll booth. That's not gonna help you much. Yeah, it's not really not gonna do a much thing right now. <laughs> you don't play any uh, drip economy though in that deck, or what? Nope. Oh man, you just go full shipments not and stuff. Yeah, that's 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 enough. That's not bad though. Yeah, it's it's really it's really nice because Drip Economy still makes you vulnerable to account siphons. Yeah, true. And with uh, Shipper on Sense and you're you're doing well without with account siphons. Oh yes! man! Take that, Falco! Nice. In your face! Nice. Double wrapper on, baby. Even Quetzal can take this. Oh yes. I mean, that, that, what is he gonna do now with his eater? And yeah, Falco Falco is actually intimidated by this. Falco has because I know exactly that Falco is the kind of person who won't put a um, fracture inside a Quetzal deck. He can still use all. But then no. he runs on HQ and scores to. <laughs> he and then runs second it. time and scores oh, another no, one. No man, no. Oh damn! God damn it! This makes me furious again because the thing is, I had five cards on my hand and only two agendas. Oh no! And at any given point, if he hadn't a count siphon at any given point, I would have won the game. Yes, you would have. You could have just scored that Astro and just waited out like any agenda that would come to your hands. Yeah, any 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 combination of things that Falco did not do would one have won me the game. Okay, and I rarely say this. I rarely say this, but I think Falco was pretty lucky in that game. Like, <laughs> there must be something in that beer that he's drinking. Oh I don't my know, god. Man. This is crazy. Like two axes from my HQ and both of them are just I mean I can understand him stealing one agenda, but both of them pff, just just blows my mind. Yeah. Oh man. But if you think about it, like he could have like same old thing the knife to break wraparound with Quetzal though. So one of the two wraparounds was gonna be gone in one turn. But that would have stalled him a little bit at least. Yeah, but he but he they, he would have been able to access only next turn afterwards. Yeah, exactly. So, but uh, even even if it did that, I mean, he would only see one card per turn. That's not not a lot. And I had only agendas on my hand already to win the game. So that I wa that's why I wasn't so much concerned about him accessing R and D too much. But it, it, so that was the problem. Like I wonder what if I happen if I hadn't rest the wraparound. So he would have continued run on on R and D and maybe see some agendas maybe. But he, like, what's the chance of him seeing two agendas from uh, from R and D, right? Like one of. At some point, he would have seen the NAPDs and stuff like that. I don't know, man. It's it's yeah. I had to do something, and that of course channeled his his focus on on HQ, and that's where the agendas were, of course. Yeah. Uh, and that's how Falco won the tournament in Eindhoven. That's that's how, <laughs> that's the story of Falco winning the tournament of of in, in, in Eindhoven, indeed. But no, th those were two excellent games at the end, and I had a lot of fun. Yeah, they were they were good games. They were good games.
Hi guys, here's Christian during editing again. Uh, reviewing the footage, I realized that I do sound a bit butthurt, so I want to make sure that there is no misunderstanding. I had a blast playing against Falco here. Those two games, especially at the end, were one of the most memorable, exciting and thrilling games from this tournament. Also, we've been talking about chance and probability a lot here. That's obviously a big part of Netrunner, but that's not to say that Falco didn't deserve this victory. Obviously, uh, he knocked it out of the park throughout this entire tournament. Something that we forgot to mention is that Falco actually won every single game in this entire tournament, all of the five rounds. So clearly that's not an accident, but the result of top-notch Netrunner skills. Congratulations to Falco to uh, this tremendous achievement. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was fun. It was fun also uh, hanging out with you guys. Re again, the Netrunner community in the Netherlands uh, was... A, a, at least from 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 this one experience points I had with you guys was really excellent. Thank you, man. Thank you. It's always, as I told you, like in another video as well. It's always nice having you guys from the German meta visiting. Like every ah. time we've had you over, it was just awesome and really fun. Excellent, excellent. So, where is a good place for people to check out Netrunner community? One more last time. Yes, uh, if anybody's interested in knowing about the Netrunner community in the Netherlands, you should definitely visit netrunner.nl mm -hmm. and that is uh, the punny version of Netrunner with a D, <laughs> because it's in the Netherlands. Yeah. And yeah, you can check out uh, the website because it has uh, an events calendar, which uh, shows all of the upcoming Netrunner events in the Netherlands. And it also has lots of tournament reports with funny pictures of our faces, and lots of strategy posts and lots of other wacky posts that you can like look around and check out. So yeah. Make sure you drop by. That you should check out if you are able to go to Netherlands at some point and play Netrunner there because this is a really nice place to play Netrunner at. And we will certainly return at some point in the future where we will be checking out more games from uh, the Netherlands. Uh, certainly, I, at community, I, uh, I grew fond of from this one experience and hope you did as well. We've visited you before in Dortmund and we loved the experience, so we definitely want to come back. I want to see you guys on the next Eureka tournament, which is also coming up in, this, in the future. And I can also spoil immediately, if you're coming to the Eureka tournament, which we we're going to display the date uh, at the bottom of the screen right now, I forgot the exact date. If you're coming to the Eureka tournament in Aachen in the future, there is a chance to win an exclusive playmat that is just available just Ooh. at this tournament that we designed, I actually designed nice. for, specifically for this tournament. It's a beautiful looking mat, there is no text on the mat at all, it's just going to be in this one tournament, it's going to be look awesome. Nice, nice, that, that, that sounds real prestigious, I can't wait for it. Yes, it, 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 oh, I man, can't it's wait awesome. for it. And because we produce the mats themselves, we can produce like a large amount. So, you know, a lot of people will get those mats, but you will only get uh, it if you come to the Eureka tournament. So, so come to the Eureka tournament, it's going to be Yes, awesome. it will be. From what I've heard, at least as far, it, everybody enjoyed themselves to the fullest in the Eureka tournaments. Everybody loved them. Yes, they're the best tournaments in Europe. Yeah. I, I, I'm going to say it right out, out, out there. I'm going to put it out there. And if anybody disagrees, then I'm going to have to... Hack the planet! Hack the planet! Hack the planet! Hack the planet! Shut up and get in the car! Shit on me.